Well, as you can see, we got a new TV. But I got a problem. There's always problems and solutions to figure out. So here's the situation is the original TV had the stand right in the center. Where's my finger? It was right in the middle, which worked out fine. The old one was a 55. This is a 65. Yeah, I know I'm, I'm a spoiled brat. I'm getting a bigger monster TV like that, but I like it. Anyways, I really don't see the problem. You know, with these boards like they are, you know, the, it'll, it'll sit just fine, but unfortunately, it's not Sweet Pea approved, being my, Sweet Pea my wife, so I gotta come up with a better ideal. So I'm going to make my own sort of TV stand, because you can see how it's kind of made. It sits like this. So I got to make something because I'm going to eliminate these feet here being off on the side. This is made for a really wide table. The table's not that wide. So I'm going to come up with something and we'll just see what I come up with and see how it turns out so I can make this Sweet Pea approved. That is the goal. We'll see how it turns out. Alright, do you see it? It's coming together. Does it look like a TV stand yet? Getting closer. A few more cuts. A few more measurements, and we'll have something. Okay, how's that look for a heavy duty TV stand? I think that'll hold it just fine. And I just gotta stick it back up in this hole and do a final test. I get everything tightened up. Then we'll make sure it's sweet pea approved. Okay, putting the final touches on my TV stand re-engineering project. And it's in place, it's good and sturdy. You, you, you push, pull on it, it's, it's not going anywhere. You can walk, see, you can walk by. It's not going to tip forward, don't want to worry about that. Now, I did have a little bit of an issue because these metal pieces sticking out like that, well, that's not Sweet Pea approved. And, well, something else. To keep the metal from causing any, any damage to the wood, I got this peel and stick rubber stuff stuck on there. That worked out well. So anyway, so I had to solve that problem. So I got those big metal pieces looking at me, and I had to use, I had to come out past the TV in order to give it good support. If I didn't, there would be a chance of it tipping forward. So I don't want that to happen. So I had to figure out, so what can I do to get rid of those things? Can't get rid of them, but maybe I can hide them. So I got to looking around, and the packing material of the TV it had this foam stuff. So I took a couple of pieces of it, cut it, glued it, and so now, voila, kind of looks like a little sound bar. So now you don't have to look at those ugly pieces of metal, see? Before, ugly metal. Now, you don't see the ugly metal. And now that is Sweet Pea approved. She likes that. So, got all that done. I still got to tidy up my wires and get, get all that finished up. But, um, Every time we get a TV, I gotta, I gotta re-engineer this crazy uh, TV stand, whatever you call it, entertainment center, that would be the, the word for it. We've had this entertainment center for over 20 years, and I think this is the fourth TV we went through. And every time I got a TV, get a TV, I gotta do something different. First TV went fine, it was like probably a 26 inch. Then I got, we got a 36, 38 inch tube, about the biggest tube you could buy at the time. This thing weighed like 300 pounds. In order to make it fit, I had to come in here and create this notch I had to cut this out because that wood came all the way down I notched it out I had to do that and then to keep it from tilting forward I had to go in here and anchor it actually anchor it to the wall you see that bracing I had to anchor that to keep the whole thing from falling forward so that was that TV and then um, we had a, before this one we had a 55 inch Vizio it, it went it went pretty good I didn't have to do any any major re-engineering to fit it but to do this, I had to, you know, because remember how the stupid legs were with, with the, the, the absolute end of it, and there's just no way I could use the legs to mount to support the TV. Most TVs you find the mount is right smack in the middle, but this thing was not made that way. So, anyway, I got around that project, got that done. But I want to show you just a little bit of the how the clarity of this uh, picture is incredible. And this is the TV, it's a TCL. It is a 6 Series R625. It's got really good reviews and really good price for the amount of TV that you get. Let me show you a little bit of how this, what this water looks like. Now this may freak out. I don't know. A lot of times you try to record a TV and it, you get all kinds of weird movement. 
let's see what happens here. All right, play. I'm hitting play. There we go. But look how how that water is. Got some, you know, you can see the scales and everything. Incredible picture quality. I don't know if it's recording. It may not make may not capture all that stuff. But anyway, this is what's it called? The Good Dinosaur. Cute little movie. Even if it did make my sister cry, sister cry, but it's a cute movie. Cool. Well, I guess I'll wrap this up. Anyway, I was going to remind you this stuff that I use. This is what the material you use in making garage door, you know, garage door hangers. Don't know the technical name for it. It's just like a piece of angle iron, angle iron with a bunch of holes punched in it, which is really handy for making brackets almost anything with it you can build cut bolt it together make about anything you want so anyway that problem has been solved it wasn't a very big problem but it was something i had to figure out and got her took care of and it only cost me less than 10 bucks so that was easy enough and i didn't have to stop and buy a whole other entertainment center so anyway next time you have a problem maybe you can stop and think about it and come up with a solution also thanks for watching have a great day